All right, so now we're talking about compensation types. When you do a syndication in multifamily, you've got four main things that you could do to compensate yourself. There is the promote, which most people will do this for. You have the asset management fee, the property management fee, and you have your personally contributed capital that you will make some money off of as well. So let's start breaking that down. The promote, that is the premium compensation you will be paid as the deal sponsor, basically to take on all the headache, all the hassle, all the liability and stress of running this whole project on behalf of your limited partners. Typical, you'll see 20, 30, or 40% promotes. I usually see 20 or 30%. And basically, you're gonna get paid anytime cash comes out of the partnership as a distribution, you'll get 20% or 30% of that distribution before the remainder goes to the limited partners. Then you have the asset management fee. The asset management fee is paid monthly. It's usually gonna be two or 3%. Most common that I see is 2%. It's 2% of the collected revenue on a monthly basis for that property. You're being paid that to manage the company that owns the property. It's not for direct management of the property itself. It's to manage the company that owns the property. You are in charge of hiring a property management company and making sure they're doing the job for you. Then you have a third way to do this. That's the property management fee. Most people will not have their own property management uh, company that they build out themselves. They will third party that. They will give that to somebody else and outsource that. That is the biggest headache of running these deals is the property management. So most of you won't do that. But if you choose to, average is about 3%. On a very small property, it could get up as high as 5 or 10% of monthly collected revenue just like the asset management fee, but this time it's a little bit higher. It's usually 3%, maybe four or 5% of all collected revenue on a monthly basis. And then finally, you're probably gonna put some of your own money into this deal yourself. Most of your investors are going to insist upon it or they will not contribute their own capital if you don't have some skin in the game. Basically, if you put in 10% of the deal, then you get 10% of the limited partner's share of the deal. So if a distribution comes out to the partnership and the share to the limited partners is $100,000, if you put in 10% of it, your personal contributed funds, you will get 10% of that. So that's the fourth way. Add all those up, that could easily run to be, you know, run into 60 to $80 per unit per month in personal income that you will make. Now I say personal income. If you have these companies, the asset management fee and the property management fee, if you have those two companies, you'll have some staff that you might have to pay out of that. But that's the way you're gonna compensate yourself on these deals. I hope that helped clear up some, some confusion that I get from a lot of people and a lot of questions. Thanks guys.